Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariongi and uh, today we continue with our topic of discussion and the topic is reproduction in plants and animals. Now we started with the reproduction in plants and uh, up to this stage we have reached the classification of fruits. Um, up to this uh, point uh, we would want to classify the fruits broadly into two. We have what we call the succulent fruits and we have the dry fruits. And then when you go to the succulent uh, fruits, we further classify them or we further group them into what we call berries and drupes. And then on the other side, when you go to the dry fruits, we also subdivide them into two whereby we have dehiscent and indehiscent. So we're going to have a chart that more or less summarizes how the fruits are classified. So we'll start with the... Uh, so we're talking about uh, fruits. And you're saying that these fruits are broadly classified into two. So we have what you call the succulent fruits. And these are the juicy fruits, the fruits that have juice in them. Uh, they are watery inside. And then we have um, those that are dry fruits. So those are the two broad categories. And then in the succulent fruits, these ones we subdivide them further. We subdivide them further into two. We have what we call uh, berries. So we have a berry on one side and we have a droop on the other side. And we'll give an example of each. A berry is something like an orange or a tomato. So we'll see what are the characteristics of berries. Eh? Then droops. We have an example of an avocado. So both are succulent fruits, but one is a berry, the other one is a droop. And then when you go to the dry fruits, those are the fruits that are not succulent, they are not watery, they are basically dry. Uh, we find that uh, We'll also divide them into two, two main groups. We have what we call dry dehiscent. Dehiscent. Dehiscent uh, or dry dehiscent fruits, they are those that dehisce. To dehisce is to split open. They split open uh, when they mature. Something like the pods. Uh, the pods in beans. Uh, we have the, the capsules uh, in something like uh, poppy. We have what we call the chisel cups. We'll get to that. And then we have those ones that do not dehisce or those that do not open. We call them indehiscent. Indehiscent. If you look at something like uh, maize or macadamia nut, those ones, they do, not, uh, they, they do not split open when they mature. They just remain intact. So the dehiscent ones, uh, these ones we are further dividing them into uh, three parts. So we have uh, the legume. This is e.g. something like a bean. Uh, then we have capsule. We'll see the differences, and then we have what we call the chisel cup. Chisel cup. So those three, they are examples of those fruits that split open when they mature. That's what is called dehiscent. They dehisce. Dehisce means to open. 
just write here that uh, they split open. Then we have the indehiscent ones. These ones do not split open. And they are also categorized into three. Uh, we have an example that we call Caryopsis. Caryopsis e.g. maize. Caryopsis. Another example, uh, we have nut. We have a nut, and then we have another one that is called a cypsella. So maybe here you can give an example of maize is a caryopsis. So we'll see the examples of the others as we continue. So basically this is a summary of how the, the fruits are classified. So we shall start with the succulent fruits. We are saying that these ones are juicy. Huh? They have juice in them or they are watery. That's what it means by succulent. Uh, examples. And we can say that uh, before we get to the examples, we can say that they are divided into two. That is berry and droop. And then uh, we look at uh, a berry vis-a-vis uh, -vis a droop or how we can distinguish between a berry and a droop. I would like us to go back a little bit and this one is on the, the parts of a fruit. Uh, the fruit is mainly made up of two main parts. There is the fruit wall, which is also called the pericarp, and the seed that is inside. So we have the pericarp and then we have the seed. And the pericarp is the one that we learned earlier is divided into three. There is the outer fruit wall, the epicarp or the exocarp. Then the middle layer of the wall, which is the mesocarp, and then the innermost part of the wall, that is the endocarp, before you just get to the seed. So that is how the, uh, the, the structure of the fruit uh, looks like. So for the case of berry, uh, the berry has a succulent uh, pericarp. It has a succulent uh, pericarp that is divided into three, that is divided or that is differentiated into epicarp, mesocarp, and the endocarp. All those three layers, they are succulent. They are succulent. So you are saying that uh, the berry is differentiated into epicarp, also known as exocarp, is the external. We are going to have a diagram on that. And then the middle layer, mesocarp. In fact, this one is, we can see that the pericarp, which is the fruit wall, is differentiated into epicarp, mesocarp, and endocarp. That is one characteristic. And the endocarp, endocarp is succulent. The endocarp or the innermost part is soft. The innermost part is succulent and contains juice sacs. It is soft or it's succulent and contains juice sacs. So we'll have a, a diagram to illustrate a berry.
so the outer layer is thin as what you are calling the epicup then we have the middle layer what you are calling the mesocup and then we have the innermost layer uh, and that innermost layer which we are calling the endocup may be divided and then in between you have the seeds have a seed there so an example of an orange this is a transverse a transverse section a transverse section is when you get a fruit and then you cut it horizontally through an orange which is a droop uh, which is a berry sorry is a type of fruit that we are calling a, a berry so we are saying that uh, on the outer wall we have the epicup the outermost wall or the exocup is just another name then the middle is the mesocup and then we have the innermost a layer which is the endocarp and the endocarp is the one that contains the juice sacs and then now we get now to the seeds so we have a seed there and then finally the innermost part is the placenta where the seeds are attached we call that the placenta so the three walls, epicup, mesocup, and endocup, is what we are basically calling the pericup. Pericup is the fruit wall, which we are saying that it's differentiated. But we are saying that the innermost part, which is the endocup, is succulent and contains juice sacs. Uh, we want to compare a berry with a droop. Both are succulent but uh, there are slight differences in a droop also the pericarp is differentiated into a thin epicarp a thin epicarp a succulent mesocup a succulent uh, can say that it is either a succulent or a fibrous succulent stroke fibrous mesocup and hard and stony it's like a stone endocup so the endocup which is the innermost part is hard and stony eg in avocado so you're saying that uh, for example, we'll have a diagram of that. A very thin epicup. Then we have a succulent 
miso cup that is the edible part the edible part in an avocado is the miso cup the middle wall not the peel the outer peel and then we have uh, this is a very hard coat so we have the epic cup the miso cup is the one we are saying is fleshy and then we have the endo cup which is hard and stony uh, like the endo cup of an avocado is very hard it's the one that encloses the seed so we have the seed there So this is a a droop eg an avocado So a droop can also be a coconut whereby instead of the miso cup being uh, fleshy it can also be fibrous uh, fibrous in case of a coconut a coconut is also an example of a droop so uh, the what differentiates the uh, the droop and the berry is that in a berry the endo cup is succulent it's succulent and contains juice sacs but in the case of a droop the endo cup is hard and stony but in both cases the miso cup is uh, is succulent so we are going to have an exercise on the same So the first question in the assignment differentiate between a berry and a droop give examples and also give examples and number two, draw a well labeled diagram of a berry a diagram that is well labeled so we are going to stop there until next time goodbye <music>